Hello and welcome back to the second part of the tutorial on creating a star layer and uh, today we're going to be looking at how to reduce the stars in our star layer. So starting from the last tutorial where we've created our star layer up here in the layers palette on the second layer here. We're now looking at that star layer with just our stars selected and what we're going to do now is reduce the stars. So I'm just going to click on the background bottom layer so we can see the whole thing. And then to re reduce the stars, making sure that we're still keeping selecting our star layer at the top here, we just simply go over to Filter, Other, and we choose Minimum. And in Minimum we're uh, using a radius of one pixel to reduce the stars. Uh, if I click on and off the preview button, you can see quite a significant reduction in the size of the stars in our star field there. So I'm going to select OK now and uh, zoom in a little bit. And by clicking on and off the star layer at the top here, you can see we've reduced those stars quite a bit just by using one pixel pixel on that uh, filter there. If you use two or three pixels you pretty much make them disappear so you only really need to use one pixel to get that effect. Good, so why would we want to do that? Well often you know, you'll need to reduce these stars because you'll have a, a nebula or a galaxy and you don't want the stars to distract from that so just reducing them a little bit like that is a good way of ensuring that uh, your main um, object in your photograph gets all the attention and the stars don't distract from it. Okay, so with that done, we've still got our layer with our stars selected that we can carry on working on. So what I'd like to do now is just uh, a couple of, ed of extras that I do um, just to um, improve the star field a little bit more. Now you'll notice that in this star field there are quite a few stars with a bit of colour and oranges and blue colours coming in there and it's good sometimes just to boost that colour just a little bit. Now to do that we'll keep the star layer up here selected and we'll just go up here to image adjustments and we'll go right down here to match colour. And in match colour you've got a colour intensity slider there a luminous color intensity and a fade slider. We're only really interested in the color intensity. I'm going to bring that up to about 167 and that will in significantly increase the color in those stars. Um, if I turn the preview on and off, maybe you can't see it that well, but it does increase the colors quite significantly. And doing it like that and pressing OK, our star layer up there has now got the stars reduced and it's also got uh, the star color increased. Now um, this is a tool that you'll use quite a lot often when, you, when you're when you working on your astrophotography but um, I think probably the most useful thing you can learn to use um, is the hide all layer. Now the hide all layers are uh, they, uh, they confused the living daylights at me when I first started but uh, they're not that difficult to understand so um, I'll cover that in my next tutorial but uh, for now this is just the one on how to reduce your stars and just boost the colour a little bit and in my next tutorial we'll look at using the hide all layer mask which I find very very useful so look forward to seeing you in the next tutorial if you need any help you can always go on my blog astrocasto.blogspot.com and I'll be happy to answer any of your questions until then, we'll see you next time. Cheers.